In this example, uh, we're going to look at evaluating um, an applied example uh, of an exponential function. So we're told uh, here that uh, traffic at a certain popular website has increased by 25% per year since 2008. And we're going to let G of uh, T be the number of millions of page views uh, of this website um, T years after um, 2008. So because this uh, number of page views is increasing at a steady percentage rate each year, uh, that uh, indicates that this function g is going to be an exponential function. Uh, and indeed, that's the case uh, because here's the formula for g. Uh, g of t is 3 times 1.25 to the t power. And you can see that that's the formula for um, an exponential function. Um, for this um, exponential function, the um, initial value um, which of course is this uh, coefficient uh, is 3 and the base of the exponential function uh, is uh, 1.25 and so we want to use this um, uh, exponential function uh, this formula uh, to answer a couple of questions here uh, so let's start with this question in part a uh, which is how many page views were there in uh, 2008 well, 2008 is zero elapsed years after 2008. So to answer this question, we just have to evaluate g of uh, zero. So g of zero is going to be 3 times 1.25 uh, raised to the zeroth power. And of course, since 1.25 is a non-negative, I'm sorry, is a non-zero real number, uh, then 1.25 raised to the zeroth power uh, is just going to simplify to 1. So we end up here with 3 times 1, or 3. Notice, of course, that's the initial value uh, of the exponential function, um, is the output here uh, when we evaluate g of 0. So what this tells us is that the number of page views um, in 2008 uh, was uh, 3 million. That was the initial uh, number of page views after we began um, observing um, the traffic on the website. All right, let's try another evaluation. All right, so in part B, we want to uh, calculate how many page views there were in uh, 2011. So 2011 is going to be three elapsed years after 2008. And so to answer this question, we just have to evaluate G of 3. So that's going to be 3 times 1.25. Uh, raised to the third power. Of course, we're just substituting our input 3 uh, for elapsed uh, years t uh, in our uh, formula for the function g. And so we just need to calculate now 3 times 1.25 uh, cubed. Well, uh, let me call up the calculator here uh, to evaluate 1.25 cubed. Although we could do that by hand, that's not too bad a calculation. So 1.25 cubed, um, <clears throat> that's 1.953125, uh, you see there. And then we're going to multiply that by 3, of course. Multiply that by our initial value of 3. And so we end up here with uh, what you see. Um, 5.859375. So 5.859375. Five. And so that tells us um, how many page views were there going to be in uh, 2011. So take the 5.859375 there, multiply it by uh, 1 million, and um, that gives us there uh, the number of page views. So it's um, 5 million. 859,375 um, if we want to calculate that um, exactly.